welcome back to Pure Lottie. So today's video is the November Lumi box. So I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family, hit that subscribe button, change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so before we jump in, just real quick, if you want to see how I did this look, I do have a tutorial on how I did it, so I will link it above for you. And if you don't know what Lumi Box is, it is a subscription box. So it is a beauty box that is based here in Australia. So they do ship to here and New Zealand. I think they also have just added one new location internationally to their shipping places so if they have i will add that on the screen somewhere for you because i can't remember off the top of my head what it is and whether it was a definite done deal or they were looking at it so yeah i thought i would go through today the november boxes so i did grab both boxes for you this is my second month with them it is their third month that they have been running. I unfortunately missed out on that first month. So I am doing both boxes, the base box and the premium box to show you what you get inside them. And then you can make a decision from that. Now this is completely paid with my own money. I'm not sponsored or anything by them. I just love makeup. So when I heard that there was a beauty subscription box finally here in Australia, I jumped on it and I'm absolutely loving it so far. So I'm super excited to see what is in my November box. Anything that I do try on prior to posting this video, I will add in a clip of what it looks like and what my final thoughts of it were. So to start off with, I've got the base box here. So again, it's just got some tissue paper, some bubble wrap, and then some more tissue paper. Then it has this little card here, which has everything that you get in the box. So this one is the base box. I will add the price for you on screen. So this one here, I got six, yes, six items this time. So my first item is a nourishing facial moisturizer and it's from Oil Garden Aromatherapy. It looks like this. And the second item is also from Oil Garden uh, Aromatherapy and it is a replenishing night cream. So it looks like it's cream for day and night. So that is really nice, they're full sizes as well. Interesting to find out a little bit about this. It says most of it is organic. So it says 92.90% organic of total. And it's got organic aloe vera, rosehip oil, bergamot and geranium. So I won't actually keep these ones. I will gift these on just because I am not using any new skincare at the moment until I can find out what it was that was affecting my skin so badly. So yeah, I will re get these ones on. And if she tries them prior to me posting, I will let you know what her thoughts were. So my third product in here is from Astralis and it is Show Your Cheek some blush. So, it's actually a massive packaging. Oh, this is really cute. <laughs> okay, so let's open him back up. So, this is the blush here. It's nice and pink. Let me just swatch it for you. So, it's a really nice pink. Blends out really nicely, actually. It's a really nice color. And then you press this little button at the front and you lift it up and it has a mirror in here. Sorry for blinding you, but it has like this little mirror in here. And I don't know, but I think you could probably fit like a little sponge or something in there as well. So it's a really cute packaging for on the go. This is in the shade Sinful. So I'm excited to try that. So 
I just used the Astralis Cheek Blush. It's the Show Some Cheek Blush in Sinful. It looks like this, like this, and I am wearing it on my face today. I think it is a very beautiful. It is very, very pigmented. So go in with a light hand and build it up rather than going in with a lot at once because it does have a lot of color payoff. Um, it had a little bit of kick up, so there was a little bit of powder left in there, but that is okay. I don't mind that, but if you are one that don't like a little bit of kick off, then just note that it does kick off a little bit. So I think it is really stunning. I think it would suit all skin tones as well because it does have such a color payoff. Uh, it can be built up to suit darker skin tones. I definitely love it on myself. I am a blush fan. I do like my blush to really be like noticeable. So I have built mine up quite a bit, but it was really easy to apply, really easy to blend out as well. And I absolutely loved it. So my next product is a Volcanic Ash Mud Sheet Mask from Skin Republic. So it looks like this. I love um, sheet masks and I have used this brand before and didn't have any reaction to it. So what I might do is, I might pop it in my collection and see if I use it later on in the year or even start of next year. If not, then I will re-gift it on. Probably won't use it right now because as I said, my skin is only just getting back to normal. I do not want to risk flaring it back up. So my next product is a Basic Beauty Single Shadow and it's in the shade Savage. So it comes in a box like this and this is the shade. So let's open it up. Actually, that's a really nice color. That's really pretty. So I'm excited to try that as well. So I did forget to mention the price of everything. So the moisturizer and the night creams are $29.99 each. The Astralis blush is $12.95. The single shadow here is $30. And the mask is $7.79. And my sixth and final product in this base box is the Morphe Cross Jaclyn Hill palette. This retails for $23. So it looks like this and it's called Ring the Alarm. So let's open it up and have a look. I'm actually excited because I've never tried a Jacqueline Hill palette. So this is the palette here. So it is some really beautiful neutral colors. Some, I think this is very like fall themed palette so i'm excited to try that out as well everyone knows i love eyeshadow palettes so i'm very excited for that one I've just used the Jaclyn Hill Cross Morphe palette. Um, I didn't go into too many shadows. Um, I did try and use a few, but I was going for a look that matched my top. So um, I wasn't able to go into every single shadow. Um, I really liked the palette. There is a lot of fallout though, so be aware of that. Um, I went into Lolly. Bomb Ass Framed Siren, I think, or and I think Secret maybe. So I did all of those shades and all the shades that I used worked really nice. I think they look really pretty. Um, the only thing I wish is that this palette had like a lighter color for the inner corner and brow highlight. So I did go in and I used my 
NARS highlighter um, just on the inner corners and for the brow just because I wanted something that was yeah a little bit lighter not so dark like the rest of my lids so that is what I got in the base box so now I'm gonna jump over to the premium box and show you guys what I got in that so this is the premium box so as per the last one it's just got bubble wrap and tissue paper in here protecting it and the little card so in the premium box i got seven items in this one so my first item that i got is a basic beauty single shadow now this retails for 30 dollars. this is a different color to the one i got in my base box so that's good this one is a fake and bake so it is a really nice like matte like nudie brown so I think those two actually might go really nice together. I think I also have one of these other shadows, maybe from last month's box. So I could potentially put them all together and they might come up with a nice look. Okay, so my next item I got in here, I actually brought as well. So it is the Slick Stick. So I'm praying that this works because I've got two now to use otherwise. But this is to get rid of all of your little wispies. Um, and this retails for $23.99. So I'm excited to try this because, you know, like I've got heaps of like baby hairs and stuff that I would love to pop down. So we'll see how that goes. I've just used the uh, slick stick um, please excuse my red face I'm having really bad hot flushes today so I've just done it on the top of my hair because the back of my hair is covered by my ponytail so that's fine um, I will say that it is very like goopy and sticky um, so be super careful when you open it up you might have seen in my clip when I went to grab some more it dripped all down the front of me um, so yeah be super careful don't do it over the top of yourself do it over the top of something else in case too much comes out um, I do find the wand is probably really good size for long pieces but I would have liked something a little bit smaller to go around like my ears um, I have as I said only done it on the top half of my hair so back of my hair I haven't done it um, but I am going out today it is a very hot day um, so I will check in with you guys and let you guys know how it lasted throughout the day so far it's got all of the little ones here all down nicely um, I can definitely see where it's applied I'm not sure if you can see like the stickiness um, when I touch it now it's not like sticky now um, it was just that initial part was a little bit sticky so we'll see how it goes I'm about to do my makeup and then go out um, so yeah I've got my fan on as well um, and I am going to um, waterfront lunch today so I will be out in the open with the sea breeze so we'll see how it goes okay so I've just finished my makeup so I'm about to go out um, I did have to reapply a little bit of this slick stick in my hair just where I had the foundation um, one thing to be really careful about is that you can end up with a bit too much and if you get your foundation on top of it it looks really gross so I'm having to comb like these little bits out because I do blend my foundation into my hair but like this side looks way better this side I had to brush a little bit out because there was a bit of clumpiness there but I will check back in later so I'm just doing a quick check-in for the slick stick so it has been eight hours since I put this in my hair now I haven't touched up anything so this is what it looks like after eight hours so as I did say at the start I didn't do the back of my hair so obviously that's going to have wispies that isn't done um, I only have a very small amount that has fallen out um, I would normally have 
way more than this. I'm not sure if you can see them like they're standing up a little bit. So I haven't brushed my hair or anything. I would normally have quite a bit along the front here and then little bits peeking out like the side bits here and they're not showing up too badly today. So I definitely think this does work. Um, it isn't sticky at all and it hasn't made my hair feel gross or anything like that. So I think that's good. My third item is a set of earrings and these retail for $22.95 and they look like this. They're actually really cute. I actually really like them. They are, you know, curvy or wavy. So they are lifted. Be excited to wear these. Might go really nice with that Morphe Cross Jaclyn Hill palette. So I might do a look with that. So I just used these earrings for today's look. I was going for that real orange green khaki look. I think it definitely suits this look. It's a really beautiful earrings. I feel like as though they're definitely like high quality. They're not like plastic or anything. They're actual like metal I think or encased in metal um, and they also came with these extra little backs on them as well so they're really nice they're not super heavy either so they don't hurt your ears um, if you are wearing them for any length of time so yeah I really like them they're absolutely beautiful I will definitely be wearing these more often my next item that I got in the premium box is from Lab 2, put a lid on it, angled shadow brush. So this is retailing for $18.95 and I can always do with more brushes because I don't wash them as regular as I should do. So I always end up with dirty brushes and I need another one to use because you know they're not clean <laughs> so i just use this brush here um i tried using it for majority of my eye look today i really do like the brush i definitely think it is high quality the little bristles are super soft and really nice i had no issues with the brush at all um i did try using it for my whole look just so that i could see what it does and like what it was worked best for and i honestly had no issues at all with it it made the shadows super easy to blend i was using the nars palette though and the shadows in it were really beautiful there was definitely kick up with the shadow um but i think that was the shadow not the brush it is an absolutely stunning brush and I'll definitely keep it in my collection and keep using it going forward. So my next item that I did get is from 111 Skin and it is a Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. And this retails for $40. So it looks like this. It's very shiny so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it because of my light. Maybe there. But I'm excited to try this. I might not try it straight away. As I said, with all my skincare, I'm being super careful right now because I'm so scared of making my skin react again. So I might hold off and use it in a little bit, but I probably won't use it this month. Um, but I'm very excited because I do love my sheet masks that I normally use. So the lucky last two products are the ones I'm most excited about. So first, I've got this Inglot Soft Sparkler. And this is retailing for $36. And this is... Looks like this. Oh my god, it's sparkly. I love it. I love it. Oh my lord, look at that. That is like liquid gold. Look at that. That is stunning. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can you tell that sparkly things get me excited? So I just used the Inglot face and body highlighter and 
I think this has to be my favorite product out of this Lumi box so far. Um, it is absolutely stunning. So I do have it on my cheeks here. I do have it above my brows as well, on my nose, my cupid's bow and on my chin. And it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it doesn't give too much texture to the skin. My skin is pretty good with not having too much texture anyway. So um, it didn't, you know, make my texture any worse than it already is. It's definitely blinding. It is super pretty. I love that you can put it everywhere. I love highlighter. So I'm like, I just want to bath in this because it is so beautiful. So yeah i really do like it and the lucky last product i'm pretty sure is the option that i got to choose so with the premium box you get to choose one item so they give you a list of like things and then you can go in and pick it um there is only a certain amount of each item though so you have to like be quick you have to jump in and do it soon as the site opens for that opt-in so I chose this NARS palette. So it's the Lost in Lustre palette and it retails for $80. Now I've never tried anything from NARS before. So that is why I did choose this palette because I wanted to try something from NARS and it looks so luxe. Look at this. It's like, it's almost like a glass front. It looks so beautiful. Let's open it up. Oh my goodness. And this, this is really hard to cover the mirror, but this is what it looks like. It doesn't bend anymore, so that's why I'm in an awkward position. But it is really pretty, like neutrals and like blush and highlighter. So it is absolutely stunning. I'm very excited to play with this one. So I've just used this NARS Lost in Luster face palette. I've just got a little bit of the packaging covering the mirror there, just so I don't blind you guys with the ring light that I've got in front of me. Um, so I created this really pretty look. Um, my final thoughts on it is I think this is a very subtle palette. Um, I am very fair skin toned, but I felt like as though the colors didn't really stand out even on my really fair skin. Um, I almost felt like as though like they blended sort of into one. It looks like one color rather than multiple different colors. So I wasn't a huge fan of that. I did go in and I wet my brush with my MAC Prep and Prime Fix It Spray. I've got mine in my Flower Beauty bottle at the moment because um, I prefer the mist of that. And when they were wet, they definitely showed up a lot nicer. So I would definitely use these wet rather than dry. However, I still felt it was very like simple and subtle. So if you like the simple and subtle looks, I definitely think this palette would be absolutely stunning for you. However, for someone like me who likes the bright colors, I do like these soft and sultry or subtle colors. But I want a little bit more of like a smoky look, I guess. Like I wanted the outer corner to be a bit deeper than my inner corner. And I felt like as though that really didn't, you know, come through with these colours. So in my opinion, I feel like as though I need to pair this with another palette for it to really stand out and show the true beauty in the palette. I didn't use the blush 
today I used the blush actually on my eyes so I do have it on my lower lash line and a little bit in my crease just to deepen up the look I really do like the blush color so that was really stunning for the highlighter, I didn't use it on my cheeks, but I did use it on my brow bone and on my inner corners. And again, that is a really stunning color as well. So I'm super excited about both boxes. I can't wait to start playing with these items. I feel like going and like taking my makeup off now and like redoing it again, but it's almost dinner time. So that'd be a bit pointless. But yeah, I only ended up with two items from the boxes uh, that I will be giving away and that was the moisturizer and night cream just because of my allergies. I just don't know what it is that is causing the issues. So yeah, I don't want to risk it right now, but I got some really fantastic products in both boxes. I'm so excited. <laughs> So that is both boxes from Lumi Box. So next month is my last month that I will be doing both premium and base box for you. I think and then I will drop down to just the premium box moving forward from January. Um, but if you want me to continue doing both boxes, then please let me know down in the comments. I just don't want to be buying both. Um, and not needing to so I thought I would show you the first like three months of what it is like so then you can make a decision if you would like to join this bo uh, subscription box so I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below because it really helps me out and if you're new don't forget to join the family hit that subscribe button change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos and as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!